I think I found the coolest website where you can remove people, objects, or anything from the image completely for free. Let me show you how to use it. If you guys don't already know, my name is Agent. I do stream on Twitch three days a week. Link is down in the description below. And now I'll go over the website that I found that is completely free, at least for now. Let me show you how to use it. It is very simple. Let's go. All right, the website we're going to be using is called Snap Edit. As you can see right here, it will be linked down in the description below as well, so you don't have to worry about that. You can remove any object from the photo completely for free, and it is super fast. It uses this like cool AI technology that I have no idea how it works. Apparently, one very similar is coming to Photoshop. It's now in Photoshop beta. It is much better than Content Aware Fill, and uh, we'll show you right now how it works. You can also use the other services that this website has which is remove background and enhancer. But we're going to go over those in just a little bit. So I'll be using this legendary Prince of Bel Air meme right here. And I will try to remove some objects from the image and you'll see how easy it actually is. So all we need to do right now is just mark the object we want to remove. For example, him. Let's just mark it like this. And then you can choose, you know, the size of the brush or you can use auto, for example, to automatically detect what you want to remove. It's it doesn't really work the best way. So manually choose it, click remove. We wait a few seconds and boom, it's done. That's it. It's literally removed right there and it's gone. If we want to remove this door, we choose the door. Might not work the best, but let's try it. That's pretty sick if you ask me. We can remove, for example, I don't know. Let's uh, remove this hallway. I'm not sure if that's going to work. There's no way, right? But it removes it. And as you can see, you can remove anything from the image if it doesn't work from the first try, try it a few more times and it will eventually work. And then all you have to do is click on download and, and it will download the image right down here. So the current size that you will be able to download is 1200 by 1200 or, you know, whatever the, the small image is. Uh, medium is available if you have a you know larger image, but large is available only if you have the pro version. So it is not free. Uh, but I think this is pretty sick. Even if you pay for it, it's pretty nice. So let's try another image and let's see what else we can remove from it. Just as a disclosure, this is not a sponsored video. I was not paid to promote this website. I was not endorsed or anything. This is just my free will. I want to show you guys what this website can offer. And because it's free right now, if you scroll down, it does say a snap edit free and it says currently snap edit is completely free, allows you to use Photo of any resolution size allows downloading in HD. It will cost you a lot of money if you use similar products, you know, later on for, for other products right here. But it does say that it will get paid later on if they have more users and stuff like that. So while it's free, keep on using this because I don't know why would you not. And also they do have a mobile app, so you don't even need to be on the browser. You can just do it on the mobile. Let's try one more picture and see what we can do over here. So I chose this picture of a bird that I found on the internet. And if we want to remove some of the branches, for example, let's choose this branch right here. We click remove and boom, the first branch is gone. We can choose the one that is in the background that is slightly blurred as well. Let's see if that gets removed. That gets removed as well. We can choose the one in the background even more. Let's go right over here on the edge and let's try this over here. Click remove. We wait it out. Sometimes this weird white box appears with nothing. Just click X and it's, it removes it in the background. So I don't know why that pops up. It just happens sometimes. If we want to remove all the branches, for example, and literally leave only the bird, I believe we can do that. Let's try it out. Let's try to, re to remove everything but the bird. Okay, I might have messed it up a little bit. And I have the the bird feather over here. But if we click remove, okay, it does look photoshopped over here, but it still looks pretty damn good for just the AI. And if we click download again, boom, it downloads the image. If we open it up, it does get opened up. And boom, as you can see, it's completely removed. It's working. No problem. You don't need to pay for anything. Now, for the second thing that this website offers is remove background. So you can remove background with just one click. I know that's a thing in Photoshop, but if you don't have Photoshop and you want to remove backgrounds, again, there's a lot of websites where you do have to pay for it. On this one, you don't. So all you do is upload the image. I'll choose my AI generated image that I got from Mid Journey that I use in a lot of my videos. As you can see right here, this is the original and this is the removed background version. It did that in like three seconds, like five seconds max. So you can see that it's clearly not perfect especially because this one is a bit hard to you know remove background from it's 
the hair looks just like the background so it did a really good job for how hard this picture was to you know photoshop so you can choose whatever background you want or you can choose transparent and again if you want to download hd you'll have to go pro but you can download normal and if we click it it's right here and it looks pretty damn good i, I mean you can change some of these things you know you can play around the hair a little bit i know that's a bit harder to you know figure out but for just you know five second tool i think that's pretty decent and the last tool that this website has is this enhanced photo with ai you can basically you know enhance the image make it go from super trash quality to super good quality i did that in another video with another tool so i won't go too much into this but it works the same way as all these other ai image enhancement tools work you upload a trash blurry image and boom it makes a really good image let's try this sample one for example as you can see this is the before like it's pretty blurry pretty trash and now it looks pretty good you know sharpened again i don't think it really works like this that it makes it this perfect but it still does a pretty decent job if you got this far into the video make sure to drop a like it means the world to me and i hope you guys like this quick tutorial or a quick video showing some cool ai image enhancement tools you know why not use them while they're free and if you don't already know i do stream on twitch three days a week link is down in description below make sure to check a video where i talk more about ai right over here and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out and have a good one bye bye